Happy September, my darlings. Happy September. Happy September. I cannot get the buns to match. This one is my favorite, if anyone's interested, but the other one's a little, little teeny tiny, but the space buns are there. We did it. Welcome, my dear. Welcome to our introductory video on September 2023. I've got tarot in front of me, I've got three journals in front of me, I have water, I have espresso, and I have some organic black grapes. Little sugar pods, so good. Um, we're gonna deep dive a little bit, and I have the grid behind me for the planets of today, uh, the 1st of September, 2023. But we're going to just kind of talk a little bit about how you might be feeling, a little bit of an introduction to the month, and um, just some tools that are helpful for me. I'll reference some things that we go through in my private Patreon group. Um, we do a Monday video each week, just kind of a deep dive into what to expect and how us as leaders are navigating the current energies of the world. So if you're interested, the link is below for that page. Please check that out. And I'll highlight, I would love the title of this video, Choose Your Own Reality. Is that what I'm saying? Choose Your Own Reality. Where's my page? Hold on one second. Choose Your Reality. Choose Your Reality. Um, is kind of piggybacking off of my introductory video to the full moon in Pisces that we just had on the 30th of August, which is what actually is reality. And there's so much we could say. There's infinite rabbit holes we could go down on the good, the bad, the ugly, the scary, the this, the that, the, uh, you know, the what's really going on underneath it. And then I could talk in parables and if you know, you know stuff, but I really don't want to do that. I would love to be as accessible and as mainstream and I, you know, bring an air of professionalism and grounding and timelessness to spirituality. So I'm here to help you understand a little bit of the woo-woo. Um, I utilize astrology as a tool. I utilize tarot as a tool. But I also am a corporate survivor and a leader and a trainer. And I've been working with teams and people for over 10 years. So it was my profession before I had my awakening. So I find that the way that I can articulate all of this is one of my biggest superpowers is the way that I communicate and the way that I make people feel. So I'm very blessed to have those, those superpowers going on for me. But, you know, we have all of these slowdowns. With the, we're in retrograde season. Sarah, what does that even mean? It means that I have Pluto retrograde, Saturn retrograde, Neptune retrograde, Chiron retrograde, Uranus retrograde, Jupiter is about to go retrograde, Venus is retrograde, has been for a while, we're about to go direct, uh, Mercury is retrograde, we all understand what that means, and the nodes always go backwards. So everything is just collectively going backwards in the sky, so the micro of that macro is you. So go inward, go inward and make choices. If the things that we're trying to make slap are not slapping, then stop trying to make them slap and choose a different reality. And you know, my human avatar is 36 years old, so the <laughs> choose your adventure, choose your own adventure books were a really amazing thing that that we had growing up as kiddos. Where in the book you'd open up to the first page and it says, you know. Do you want to go into this doorway or do you want to go to through the back doorway? And if you go through the doorway, you go to the second page. And if you go to the back doorway, you go to page 14. And then on page 14, you can, you choose the way to get out. It's like this whole different, um, just do your own research on a choose your own adventure book. And they're, we're just the funnest things, the absolute funnest things in the whole wide world. So we are right now, in and I referenced this parable before it might feel as though that you're waking up in the middle of a 
literal battlefield, a multidimensional metaphysical battlefield where I walk into the cafe that I used to walk into, Sarah, and now I feel so gross in there. And now I want to do this and I want to do this. And I'm, you know, I wake up and I feel like a child. And then I wake up and I'm, you know, acting like a teenager and I don't know why. And I, you know, when I'm with my friends that I used to really have a but um bum with, now when I see them, they're really negative and they make fun of me and I don't understand why I'm not standing up for myself because I feel really childish around them. There's whys to all of that. There's 5D whys, uh, 4D whys, 3D whys to all of that. There's so much going on actually multidimensionally. So what I'm going to try to wrap all of this together in a little bit of a video is to say you actually can choose your own reality. You can choose your own reality. And I'll give a very simple parable. So say, you know, you go out in the city. You meet your friends in the city for, you know, dinner. And you know how to drive home from the city. You Maybe you live like an hour away from the city. You know you could take, you know, I live in Gloucester. We're talking about Boston over here. So I know I could take Route 1. I know I could take 93. I know I could take 90. I'll have to hit 95 and then go back up again, but I'm up in Gloucester. So it really depends. I might take 93. It depends on the time of day. But usually I won't take Route 1 because I don't want to pay any fucking... <laughs> you know what I mean? You, like, we do these things. But so when I'm driving home from the city, say I go out to the North End or something like that, and I'm driving home and I see a massive sign that says traffic on Storrow. Huge sign, traffic on Storrow, 45 minute backup. I could actively take that drive because that's the drive that I said, I want to take this motherfucking drive. So you could send traffic on Storrow for 45, 50 minutes, you could see an accident or two, you could see a few different fights, it'd be a great time. But it's kind of, it's intense as shit. It's intense as fucking shit. And good time, yes, for the people watching. But if you're in it, it's a little bit like lions and tigers and bears. You know what I mean? Or you just take 93 to 95 and then go back up. Yes, it's a tiny little bit farther as far as like traffic is concerned. Like the time that I'm actually spending on the road. But I'm scooting, not sitting in traffic, not sitting in construction on start. Same thing in the world that we're living in right now. You can choose to play into the fear. You can choose to fight as a light warrior in the fear. You can choose to participate in the destruction of the whatever, the ba -dum -bum -sh. You can choose that. So you know what? I kind of want to watch this. I kind of want to see what's going on here. I want to participate. You can do that. You can definitely do that. You can be aware. You can find certain pages. You can find certain people. Like, you know, it's very easy to just, you know, follow one or two accounts and just see the little bits of the news of the day to kind of know a little bit what's going on on the other side of the world. And that's amazing. But you can choose to just live a very simple life a very organic, earth-centered life. You can choose to not be able, like you can choose to get intimidated by the fog. You can choose to get intimidated and pissed off at this slowing down, this retrograde season, as you say, Sarah, for the astrological sense. You could choose to get pissed off. You can choose to let that really infuriate you. And there are times that I do get very infuriated by it. There are times that I get very frustrated. My human gets very frustrated. But then we, you know, can float above it. And we can just look at what's on our plate. Or even like float above our human and then view our human self and what is on the human's plate and what they have to deal with and what they you know, can choose to deal with, we can actually start to look at our own lives like this book, like this Choose Your Own Adventure book.
because we owe no one anything. We don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe me shit. I don't owe you shit. You don't owe your employer shit. You don't owe your partner shit. You don't owe anybody anything. So even if yesterday you were participating in a little bit of this I'll give a little bit of the astrology as to the foundations and to the validations as to why this, why I'm saying what I'm saying. You can choose in a breath, say, I used to participate in this. I just, I, I read something, Virgo energy, mutable earth energy that really resonated. I checked sources on this person and I check who they follow. I really respect them. And we, you know, are of a similar vibration. They taught me something new and I'm, I'm, you know, redirecting my focus and going to go down that path now. What did I write? Ignoring versus choosing. That's huge that what we're going into. So Mars is in the sign of Libra. And I did a whole little um, video I put the, you know, a preview of it on my public YouTube page, the nodes, the South Node and Mars in Libra, these two planetary bodies in Libra. So definitely go check that video out. Sorry, my grid is falling off the wall. I want to make sure it doesn't fall. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. So definitely go check that video out because this is a little bit of like without emotional maturity, a kind of could be a little bit of spark plug adolescent energy, a little bit of like, nah. so. Libra is the balanced scales. This is positive cardinal air energy run by Venus. So really likes beautiful balanced things. Healthy communication, this is the opposition sign of Aries. And so this is the I am. I don't know what their tagline is. I wanna say we, or we have, we are, something like that. But this is the important people in your life, the relationships that you have. And so I want us to just be cognizant with Mars, this very assertive planet, in this sign of balance scales and, you know, likes comfort, likes all these good things. It can be a little bit with emotional maturity. We will be very gracious in our breakups, very, very lovely in our communication style. Without emotional security or with any or emotional grounding or maturity, um, and with the south node releasing old toxic patterns over here, it's, you know, if we don't choose to release those old toxic patterns, the south node will just highlight them. We'll just highlight them and say, hey, here's an opportunity to do things differently. And Mars is either going to say, you know what? I am going to do things differently. Balance scales going back to center. Or I'm going to choose violence. This is e like, I don't see it as like violence and loveliness. I see it as violenced or balanced. The loveliness is always there. That's the goal is just to be here. But an overabundance of loveliness is codependency. An overabundance of violence, kind of also codependency. But balanced, maturity, understanding, this give and take, ebb and flow. So... Definitely go check that video out. That's just a little bit of the highlight over here. I find it also fascinating that on day one, the moon enters the sign of Aries today. It really just to me shows, and the fact that we had two full moons in August is this like really nice fresh start energy. And I always say like, every Monday is a fresh start. The first day of the freaking month is a fresh start. The first day of the year, I love a good fresh start. And we always follow cycles. Again, in my Patreon group, I have a whole video on just the cycles, what we follow. Divine Feminine definitely has to incorporate their um, flow cycle into the cycles that we flow with. Genuinely, your magical, vibrant, wise woman being, honoring that time of emotions and feeling into things. I could do a whole video on flow, like literally an entire video on flow and why we have to go with that cycle um, because it's a big part of when you start to unwind yourself from the 3D system and step into your divinity, your divine feminine energy, you can't go back into that nine to five. You can't. And it's literally, I'm sorry if the window's open, it's a really nice chilly day in, um, 
in glass stuff so I apologize for the background outside chatter and stuff like that um mm. ignoring versus choosing we went over that freeing yourself how to navigate okay choosing your own reality moon and aries fresh start how do I want to wrap this up? How do I want to explain what I'm trying to explain over here? Walking down the road or driving home from Boston, driving home, got through the Star 093 and you're just taking some back roads home. It was Lewis Carroll in Alice in Wonderland. If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there we're all gonna die i know that escalated quickly it's virgo season it's virgo season so this is intense stuff we're all gonna die one day that's the end of the road any road will take you there any road will take you to the human being dying your consciousness will move on your consciousness will never die energy is neither created or destroyed it is transferred so if you don't know what happens after death or if you don't know what the moment is i'll do a whole video on that i really want uh, death <sighs> sorry i get over excited about all these things that i can record um and just being able to offer this information it jazzes me up in a way that i can't properly describe to any of you it's just so beautiful and so wonderful this is my purpose for being here so i'm very very grateful for you it doesn't always make sense but we're doing it so what was i saying literally just got over excited flow death is different now it is so if we know the end of the road is death I think of the right parable for you right now and it's really eluding me again you're driving down the road heading home and there's a blockage on the road there's a person it's a random person wearing a random uniform of some kind you don't see what's on the lapel. You just see that they're wearing some random uniform. You're driving down your normal road. And they stop and, you know, you get to this person and they say, hey, you have to take this road. You have to take this road. And the arrow that's pointing is just this really bumpy road. You know what's down that road. You've been down that road. It's literally a bumpy road to nothing. And this person in a uniform just says, you have to take that road. And you go, actually, I'm just going to keep driving. I'm going to go this way. And, you know, they don't have anything but, like, their little sandwich board and their bell and their just unmarked name tag. It's just a person, no better than you, no smarter than you, just saying, you have to take this road. And you're like, actually, I don't. I don't. And there's no threat. They're not saying, like, I'm good. They have no authority over you. But they just look very official. And they're saying, you have to do what I tell you to do. You have to do what I tell you to do. This is your choose your adventure. I'm serious. What do you do? You know that there's nothing down that road. That person is not asking you those questions. That person doesn't give a fuck that authoritative figure saying you have to go down this road to go home and you go in your head you're like that road doesn't lead home that road just leads to a lot of pain and suffering so I'm really I don't I don't really want to go down that road then don't then just say okay thank you I'm gonna go this way and just drive around them let them have their reaction doesn't matter they have no authority over you he's just wearing a nice jacket probably made from polyester it's not really a real jacket anyways it's not really a real sandwich but it's like you just got a sandwich board and a bell and a whistle and you're just ringing that bell saying you got to do this you don't you don't you don't 
Like in the same way, sometimes you're driving down a road and you see that like the people in that area of the world built, have put one of those like speedometer things in that, in that area. And you always slow down because you're like, oh, what if there's a sensor and then there's a police officer on the other side of it? There ain't, there ain't. It's just for you to say you're going the speed. And when you're driving around, just say, oh, okay, that's the speed I'm going. That's nice. That's nice. This is not the video I expected. It's a little interesting. And it's not, and there were many times that I was like, is this even slapping? Is this even slapping? You don't have to listen to that, that thing. My last parable that's coming to my mind and I'm gonna leave you with this because I'm speaking in tongues today. It's not speaking in tongues. It's making sense of what you might be experiencing. The battery in the fire sensor was low. And so that beep goes off every little bit. You can let it just run forever and let the air around you become angry. When that goes off, it's like a reminder of all the things I haven't done. All the things. Oh my God. 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 And, or you can actively just choose to stand up, go get the batteries and go change the batteries and then move on with your life. Going to change the batteries on the smoke detector is the equivalent of unfollowing pages that really stress you out turning off the television and turning it into a, a planter for vegetables. Going outside and going for a walk. Being the first one in your friend group to just say, hey, like, I know we always talk about that, but it really doesn't affect my life. Can we talk about something else? Can we talk about your flower garden? Can we talk about how are you getting excited for the fall autumn season? Um, what is it that you want to learn in the, in the winter time? What brings your life passion? What brings your life joy? What do you get excited about every day? What you know, healthy activities are you really enjoying and appreciating? What do you pray for every day? What can I pray for for you? You know? There's last week in my Monday video, as well as we did a deep dive in the private Patreon group, we were talking about going monk. Like we can't pretend that we're not different and we must incorporate our metaphysical practice, our spiritual practice, our religious practice into our everyday. Like the amount of times a day I just say amen if I have a table, what are you celebrating today? Friendship. Amen. Fingers and toes. Amen. Like, God is so good to us. God is so good to us. How has God blessed you today? I opened my eyes and God was like, here you go, kid. Look at this beautiful world. It was a really beautiful morning. I just wake up with an alarm so early and I know it's like the 5 a.m. club. It's like the get it going, get it going, get it going. But to be able to wake up slowly and just let my whole being blossom and go put my face in the sun and have beautiful warm water and, you know, just meditate or walk to the cafe and just have a really precious, quiet morning it's, it's more beautiful and lovely than I could have ever imagined. And there's no sense of urgency. I trust the timing of God and everything so completely.
So I ask you in September, any time you are living your life, just living your life, go back to the parable of your driving home. You're just driving home. You know exactly where you're going. Your soul knows exactly what to do. So when you see something, person, a sign, traffic's afoot, traffic's ahead, you are allowed to choose your own adventure and say, no, thank you, I'm going to go this way. You're very allowed to do that, and it's fine. It's fine. It's fine to say no to things that don't make sense. It's fine to say yes to a path that's never been walked before. Um, And it's okay to not have an understanding of what's going on. Just look at what's on your plate today and what you have to face today. And how can you incorporate God into that day today? September is our chance to really choose and to redirect our focus. Not even redirect, that's the wrong word. It's more so direct it towards It is. It's like, just like I said at the beginning, we're all, even as awakeners, still waking up each day out of a fog, out of a new ego death, out of a new scenario that we've processed. And some of it is completely unconscious and subconscious. There are days I wake up completely refreshed and anew. And as if this really deep rooted trauma, I don't really carry anymore. So your guides are doing work on you, your team, your soul team is doing work on you as you sleep, when you ask them to. There's so much happening in the back end of your spiritual team, your religious team, your unseen team. There's so much happening. My guides are saying that's it for this video. Is there anything that you have to say to my community? They're saying no. They said everything was in there. And for some of you, they the only thing that they want me to say is that when these videos that I do, is it, it's very vibrational what happens. Um, so a lot of you sometimes just put me on in the background while you're having coffee and you just listen and just have a chit chat. That's okay. You are still receiving the vibrations of this content, of this information, and you're doing it in a way that you don't have to understand it. If I am your guide, if I am your teacher for your awakening right now, your soul will just know, oh my God, I really like listening to her voice. She's got a really nice way of putting things out there. She's an alien, I know, but she looks looks human enough for me to listen to her, so it's good. And she's got the credentials that I need and that resonate with me. I love magic so much. Well... Thank you, my darlings, for joining me on our introductory video to September. Lots of parables in there. Not too, too much of the astrology. I'll just leave us with, you know, the sixth house that Virgo runs is our house of everyday life and practical service. This is also the health axis, six and 12. So daily habits, daily content ingestion, daily food ingestion, the things that we do every single day and how we are of practical service to this world and the pocket of the planet that we told God that we would be responsible for. So it's a very practical time. Um, Definitely, if you're interested in um, there on my YouTube page, there is the signs evolving. Uh, You can search for that. And it was a while ago I did the unevolved, evolving, and evolved version of all the signs. And for Virgo, the negative side is a perfectionist, exceptionally self-deprecating, and the you know evolved leadership version of the sign is very service-based, very, I have all of this to offer, so I'm offering it effortlessly to you. Um, so always be of service. Um, it's also one of the things that helps me personally whenever I'm feeling too anxious or if depression is something that my human avatar is experiencing, sadness. If I've just been out in the 3D world a little bit too much, I'll just kind of come 
come back and um, and center and go back to gratitude and just <laughs> I lost my train of thought there it was whenever I get too depressed to anything yeah I do I go back to gratitude to be of service that's it um, volunteer do something for free do something to give to the collective and this could be hands-on in your local community or this could be something that you can offer on YouTube on any of your social media platforms life doesn't ever seem so hard when you know that you can effortlessly give something if everything is energy everything is energy give what you have an abundance of to receive this is a Tony Robbins quote the secret to living is giving just give just give and it helps maybe one person somewhere else on the planet feel a little bit better about what they're going through a little bit safer a little bit more valid just to be like, oh my god I stumbled across this really interesting person alien healer light worker star seed spiritual counselor she's pretty cool and she's telling me what I'm going through right on time because you're right on time no there there are no living gurus truly as a human collective and this is just coming to me now even if they're you know Yeshua Joshua Jesus JC absolute ascended master that walked on this physical planet Buddha there's so many so many but right now they ain't coming back I don't even know if I posted that video I took it a long time ago um, but two we're evolving as a human collective from the third dimensional matrix into a unity consciousness into a fifth dimensional consciousness so even those ascended masters have not gone through what we've gone through they're here in our astral space they're here in our meditation and prayers to be helpful to us but we are the prophecy we are the ones right now that are evolving so I say this to give you a little bit more validation that sleep eat drink water eat fruit eat meat eat all the things that you want need desire whatever it may be because this does not make sense and we've never done it before most important is a calm nervous system and to know that you're okie dokie that's most important if I teach you nothing else your soul came here to exist and to ascend you did not come here to suffer you did not come here to feel pain you came here to assist and ascend and have fun doing it so let's show the humans the way kids please comment below what you're going through please let me know what parable really spoke to you um, what it is that you're experiencing that you'd like to share with the group where are you on the planet as well I love to see you know we're all sitting at this cafe table together so I'm in Gloucester Massachusetts Eastern Standards on the North Shore Massachusetts New England Boston area ish but that's where I am. Where are you on the planet? Let me know. My guides have this like beautiful, <laughs> whenever I'm talking to you, they have this view over here. So that's why I look over here sometimes and they're just like, yeah, you did it. It's like they're my little cheering squad. So they're my cheerleaders for these videos. <laughs> it's so cool. But I love you. I'm so grateful for you. Uh, my email address is always listed below. If you have any questions or if you're keen for a personalized reading, it's my pleasure. I'll see you soon.